hello everybody and welcome to your video so I have an interesting story and I have an interesting video for you but before I get into all that I want to be the first to tell you that you're so beautiful and you're so needed in this world thank you for being here with me thank you for sharing your time and your energy with me I value you the divine values you and thank you for being here and hanging out with me guys I truly truly appreciate each and every one of you so the song I channeled is by Brenda K star and it's called I still believe so I'm going to put a link to the song in the description box below it basically there's a lot of good lyrics in there so I don't want to sit here and read every one but it talks about I still believe that someday you and me sorry I bumped the camera will find ourselves in love again and it's a beautiful it's a beautiful song I think this is um, it came out in 1988 I remember it when it came out I, I was I was a teeny bopper you know, I was a teeny bopper and Brenda K star was real real popular back then but this is what I channeled for today so I'm gonna say um, a quick prayer for those who you know are very positive to keep staying positive you know because it's like she said I have a dream that someday you and me will find ourselves in love again and you know someday maybe it's in this life maybe it's in another life maybe it's in another dimension you know what I mean it's like <clears throat> endless love it's like endless love and I'm starting to choke up on my throat chakra so it's like an endless love that it's almost like a knowing you know that you will find each other again even if you found each other during dark times or bad times if things were against you and I think that you'll find each other again somewhere in time whether this dimension or another dimension because it's that kind of connection and also maybe there's dreams that some of you could be having or someone could be dreaming about you because roles can be reversed because it talks about I had a dream you know I had a dream so I'm gonna say a prayer just for these strong connections um, to find each other that's what I'm that's what I'm gonna pray for and then I'll tell you why I'm not outside doing a reading here okay our father in heaven please be with those of us who have a dream have a wish for that strong connection to happen to reunite whether in this life or in any life for that connection to heal if it needs to heal and for everything to be cleared from the path of that connection so that is what I pray for today I pray for those who have that strong connection who want to see that special person I pray that it happens for them and we ask that it happens for them in your divine light in Jesus name I pray amen <clears throat> So these are the oracle cards I was guided to use and the reason that I'm not outside today is because um, you know God works in mysterious ways and um, God blessed me with some chickens and I didn't know you know I know I didn't know I was going to be blessed with these they're chicks they're, they're small I put a little shorts video if you want to see them I put a little shorts video um, in my um, here on the queries by queries and I it's um I didn't know I was going to get these chicks until about 10 or 15 minutes before I got them it was like it was like that and so I didn't have a place for them so I had to go to Home Depot and try to find something you know um very quickly um until I could um I had to find something quickly and I had to also get building materials to you know like chicken fencing or wire or whatever to make like a little uh, to a cage or whatever you know I had to do something so 
I didn't know where necessarily this, you know, opportunity or money or any of that was going to come from, right? I didn't know I was even going to get these chicks until 10 to 15 minutes before I got them. If that, okay, it was like a download came into my head, chicks, and I'm like, chicks, okay, 10 or 15 minutes later, chicks, baby chicks are in my life. And I had them overnight. I had them, like I had them in a kiddie pool. Well, you see the video if you go to the shorts with the, with the chicken wire. But I had to take time to try to build a place. That's why I was not outside today. I'm still in the process, okay, of making them a place to be comfortable, okay, um, I feel that I, I feel God sent me these little chicks because I have, I have a large yard for the city, um, and the city I live in, we're actually allowed to have hens, um, I didn't know where I was going to get the money to do all this, okay, I'm not rich, <laughs> so this is how perfect God works in our life, I have somebody who watches me every day and they're very intuitive and God or source spirit spoke to them to do this to donate money to me and when I woke up I just had this money in my account and that was my blessing like my problem was solved so if you're watching this video, the person that donated me the money, I want you to know this is exactly what I was saying when you saved the day that you have no idea how it couldn't have come at a better time. You helped me to help these little chicks. Okay. So I'm going to get into the reading. I'm, not, I'm going to stop talking, but I just want to show you this is how perfect God is. To just go with the flow. You may not understand it. Things may not make sense to you. You may question it. I was questioning chicks. I, I got quite a lot. I had no clue what to do. I was guided all the way. And I had no clue where this money was going to come from to get the, in the food and to get the stuff that they need. And this person literally donated me money overnight or in the morning, whatever, while I was sleeping. So that's just how perfect God is. And I want to, I did say thank you to that person. But if you're watching, I want to say thank you so much. Because usually I have to work for my money. So the donations, and I did have another lady that donated money. Um, a, a few, you know, people donated money for the cats, for the food. So I don't know where God is sending me. I'm a tarot reader right now, but God is giving me animals. So I'm like, I don't know. Am I supposed to be a farmer? What am I supposed to be? And as I literally said that and wrote it in my in my video shorts it was 808 on the clock 808 I've been seeing 808 quite a lot so anyways we're gonna see what wants to come out for you guys I just wanted to share that with you so for your Oracle reading we're gonna start out with the spirit of the animal Oracle but that's why your reading isn't outside today I do plan to do your reading outside tomorrow because I just about have I just about have the cage secure and built all right I'm a fast worker I had to help I have a lot of uh, help we have black jaguar old soul walk through life with confidence and grace you have power from beyond the world focus on what you really want you can create your dreams Focus on what you really want. You can create anything that you want. So, if it relates to that song, I had a dream, someday you and me will find ourselves in love again. Maybe that dream wasn't a dream. Maybe you really did connect with somebody in the astral. Maybe you really connected with them. And it's not just a dream. Oh, wow. Milk and honey. Milk and honey. I love this card. Milk and honey.
I was also guided to use, um, what is that, the Starseed Oracle. So right now I'm going to use the Moonology. What wants to come out here for Aquarius? And I'll close out with the Map Oracle. I do like the messages that come out of that. Wow, this flipped over. Surrender to the Divine. We were just literally, I was just literally talking about Source, God, Creator. Surrender to the Divine. You know, some things might not make sense as they're happening in your life. Just sort of go with the flow and hold your vision, okay? Hold your vision. The song by Brenda K. Starr, I Had a Dream, I, or I'm not sure if that's the name of it. I will put the link in the description box, but hold your vision, especially if you had a dream. It might not be a dream. You might literally be communicating with a new connection in the astral realm. Or special. I should, I should say special because I feel like it's a connection that goes beyond lifetimes. Give me a card for love. Give me a card for love for this reading, please. Anything else? No? no there we go. New beginning. Wow. That was almost like it's a surprise because the card didn't want to flip out. And then it's like, oh, okay, we'll, 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 we'll let it flip out. We have reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. If you're thinking of that someone, or they're thinking of you, I don't know, but maybe space is required because, it, you know, reflection does talk about thinking. Trust and have faith. It will all work out. And we do have a new beginning here. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Wow. Hold your vision. New beginning talks about dreams. The song talks about dreams. This talks about dreams. So far we've got three cards that talk about dreams and surrender to the divine. I was guided to use my starseed oracle, so maybe you're communicating with another starseed that you're going to be in connection with. Okay, and just just be patient. Doesn't mean wait. Patience never means wait. It means live your life and just be patient in your mind that it will all work out. Always live your life. Time waits on nobody. And... Uh, you're part of that time thing right now because of where we are. This is beautiful. It's We the Hathors. It says Deep Love on the bottom. It didn't come out, but it does say Deep Love. Lost Lands. Soul Memories and Gifts. You've done this before. I'm telling you, you guys. There's somebody I feel that you're going to be coming into a connection with you guys have done this before you've lived lives together before i felt like that like i said that type of love and if you had a dream or if they had a dream i don't believe it was a dream i believe it's the astral i believe you guys were in communication now i was guided here to use the golden girls i have the light seers for clarification and i have another deck for clarification if need be all right, put milk and honey here. Show me what I need to see for Aquarius or a cross watcher who might be dealing with an Aquarius. Show me what I need to see. Two more shuffles. All right, show me the basic issue here. Two of Pentacles. Wow, this is a lot. The Lovers Reverse. This is that connection that's close, that's not in a connection. That's a Gemini energy. Three of Swords. Three of Swords is pain, but it can also be, yeah, somebody realizes here. We got the Hangman. Um, I don't know why they call it that, but it's what they call it anyway. It is in reverse. That someone gains some sort of perception here, um, a perspective. Queen of Cups reverse, Two of Pentacles. Is somebody about to reach out? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. 
All right. On the bottom, I feel someone's thinking about you. Now I know I keep picking this up about someone coming toward you. All right. For many Aquarians, there's a person coming toward you. The storylines are going to, you know, shift and change a little bit. We're all unique. We all have a, a, a storyline here. But this is somebody who is stable. They're in a king of pentacles in the upright. You're king of swords reversed. But someone is looking that they don't have you. And then I have the fool and the empress. You know... King of Swords is Aquarius. The Empress is Taurus Libra if you need the sign. But the Fool is also Aquarius. It's also um, Aries. It also, for me, talks about springtime. And springtime, I know um, Australia is going through springtime right now. But I've been getting something about spring recently anyway. Now, there's somebody here. If you have a dropped connection, a failed connection, or a connection that you've had dreams of, I think someone else has too. Because literally on the bottom of the deck, this King of Swords is Aquarius and it's in reverse. But this King of Pentacles is upright, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But it's, it's stability. It's a person who has stability. It's a person who has even some wealth. Okay? And they're thinking of a new beginning and going right toward the Empress. But I feel it's someone who's thinking about settling down. I think it's someone who enjoys your energy or someone who feels pulled to you because maybe it's that past life connection. You know, when you meet somebody from a past life, it's like you've known them forever. And you just, it's almost as if you pick up in this life where you left off in the last life. It's like when you have those conversations with them, you're like, I don't know why I'm talking to you about all this, but I just feel like I know you. I just feel like I can trust you. And I feel that that's what's happening here. But someone, you know, this King of Pentacles is the one who's taking a look here at Aquarius. Aquarius is reverse. These are, this is that new beginning as well. The full card. I just heard in my head, Aquarius is the one. I just heard that Aquarius is the one. All right, let me pull a card from this deck. Anything wants to come out here for this basic issue. The basic issue is also, looks like another aspect of it. Wow, pride and ego. This might be a very good looking person as well. Oh my goodness. On the bottom of the deck, I have... Purge and soulmate and then twin flame. It came out purge, soulmate, and twin flame. Somebody might realize here or be releasing a soulmate to be with their divine counterpart. And then the card after that is the one that we all love to hate, divine timing there. But... Um, Somebody might have been in their pride and ego over a connection. Could have been. But that peacock is also a very good looking bird. Okay. All right. Well, then tell me then what is the root? We have the basic issue and the other aspect. The emperor in reverse. Now we had the empress in the upright. Now the emperor is in reverse. Somebody realizes... Somebody understands, especially with that that card here, that Pisces reverse, that is them realizing, coming to a realization here. There's something. Awareness. And it's an awakening, possibly. Nine of Cups reverse. Judgment. Seven of Cups reverse. And Queen of Wands. Oh. Somebody is aware that they've had indulge in some toxic behavior or toxic people and whoever this is has their eye on Aquarius all right give me a card to clarify that high priestess 
the world reverse the wheel of fortune upright king of cups all right someone's had a premonition about you aquarius that's exactly what i heard with the high priestess card someone has had a premonition about you and it looks like it's a it's a divine counterpart divine masculine possibly twin flame or soulmate but or star seed because I was guided to use a star seed oracle or all you know could be all it was, you know twin flames are star seeds regardless but someone's had a premonition about you and they don't want things to be over or they were told it wasn't over you know premonition can come in many different ways judgment this is an angel They could have literally had a visit from a divine being about you. You know, this person is has their eyes closed. Wow. Wow. Now we have Sagittarius here. We have Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Taurus here. We have Scorpio again, um, which is also be Pisces and Cancer. And then we have Virgo, Pisces, Aries. Like I had said so far, I think Gemini, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So I have a King and a Queen of Cups, and I have Pisces again. And like I said, Gemini, wow. I just keep hearing they had a premonition about you. They had a premonition. Now, yes, you can be dreaming. You guys can be in the astral. But I feel they had a premonition, a download, because literally this, this with the judgment, the emperor, this is somebody who was not acting in their most, um, you know, this is someone who's realizing maybe they were shown how toxic of a life they were living even. Maybe they were shown the way in something. Kind of almost like when a person has a near-death experience, if they're on the wrong track, it's like someone gets shown. But I don't feel that's the case. I feel this is more of a, a premonition, a dream, even if a being or light being came to them. This is a download. I feel they had a premonition. I feel they had a premonition. Tell me about the past here. Tell me about the past. Let me do my tarot tetris. Show me about the past energy here. Nine of Pentacles. This person was fine. Um, single. Are you somebody? Single and abundant. Just fine. Um, again, I can't help but notice the drink on the table. Maybe this person was a drinker. Um realize maybe that was some of the toxicity in their life i don't know but anyway this person isn't having a problem with the drink they're actually just they're abundant and they're fine on their own but there is a drink on that table that i was just looking at and it's interesting in my um my community post i put a picture i a picture i had to go to home depot you know again you know, you can never get everything on one trip, right? You always forget something. But I took a picture on the way out, and it was palm trees. And the palm trees and, and the picture in my community page looked like a heart. It was beautiful skies, very pastel. Page of Swords on the bottom of the deck. This could be a person who is watching. Show me about the past. Maybe they've been watching you for a while. I don't know. Tell me about the past here. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, this is someone who's single. Recently, maybe. This is the recent past. Um, or maybe somebody had, you know. They're moving on from some sort of strife, okay? Possibly moving on from another earth sign. I don't know. This is someone you can live with as well. It's a Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Also Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But this is going out into... A new direction this is a lot of strife right here this five of wands so 
And then this is that past life connection, that close connection. Three of Pentacles in the reverse, in the past, and the Nine of Pentacles upright. Someone is single and starting over. Someone could have gotten out of a connection, but this is someone who is watching you. Aquarius shows up in the reverse. This person shows up in the upright and they show up with a page of swords. Yeah, right, page of swords. What crowns this? And I just saw the death card, so that's also a transformation. Again, page of swords and six of wands reverse. Hmm. All right. What crowns this right there? All right. What crowns this is the four swords in the reverse. Okay. The ace of swords in the upright. The empress in the reverse. Now we have the emperor and the empress in reverse. Not together here. The lovers, for those of you, if this is that divine counterpart, that would be the lover's card, the emperor and the empress reverse. Okay. And then the sun. So somebody realizes, it's sun's in the reverse. Somebody realizes they're not happy without their person, basically. And if somebody has recently got out of a connection and they were happy or whatever, being single or starting over, or they've been working on their money or their pinnacles or whatever, this is somebody realizing, I'm not happy because I don't have my person. And it seems like their person is Aquarius by what I can see here. So someone is thinking, you know, maybe I've healed enough. Maybe I've healed enough. You know, because this is clarity. That Ace of Swords is clarity. One thing they are clear about. There is one card in the upright, and that's clarity. One thing they are clear about. I'm not happy without my Empress. Not happy without my Empress. I'm not happy without my Empress. I'm not happy without my person. You know, maybe you moved on because you had to. Maybe you just felt like you would see them again if it was true love. Because she talks about that. Because, you know, true love should never have to end. It's a beautiful, beautiful lyrics. I am going to put that song. It's beautiful lyrics. You don't have to listen to the song, but you can always just read the lyrics. Tell me what crowns this here. Clarify that. Someone who's single, I think, realizes, or they think, I think I've healed enough. Wow, that flipped all around. <laughs> uh, we got the Five of Wands. Someone is stuck in their emotions here. And they want happiness. The sun is in the upright. And they don't want to be in the Nine of Pentacles in the upright. They want it in the reverse. Okay, they want to be together. Look at that. For me, Nine of Pentacles reverse. If there's not a loss of money, which is not about that, it's the loss of you. The loss of you. This person has been thinking for a while and they realize that you make them happy. And they're stuck. And I feel they're stuck without your love. And this is like somebody saying, I played myself. You know, Seven of Swords reverse. I played myself. I sabotaged this. I ruined this. All right, what's the future energy? What's the future energy? Sorry, I, I think I hit the camera there. What's the future energy here? That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot. It's the story. I don't even need to clarify that. Coming in real quick. <laughs> real quick. Blunt to the point. Literally to the point. Wow. It's almost as if
I don't know. It's almost as if they heard or saw something about you letting them go or something with that page of swords and that two of wands reverse and it's like coming in quick it has a lot to do with the ten of wands unless they move unless it has something to do with a move if they leave this if they left this toxic person finally got all of their last things out of there this could be someone coming in um, i don't know but anyway that's the bottom of the deck wow the near future is a whole <laughs> it's a roulette okay we have the four cups reverse i really want to be happier <laughs> i'm also going to stop sitting on my butt and i'm going to stop looking at what i don't have and uh, i'm going to do something here about it exactly justice so this is where someone decides i'm going to get off the couch and stop doing nothing and i'm going to do something i'm going to do something justice Re it's um upright it's libra energy nine of swords i gotta make peace here <laughs> you know i feel you're you're the first and last thought someone can't sleep somebody wants to sleep and with you okay ace of cups i feel someone isn't going to be able to rest or they can't and possibly because maybe they've had a premonition here a dream it happens it happens i you know i dreamt about my daughter many years before she was born everybody's like do you want to test to see what sex the baby is i'm like i know exactly what baby this is it's a girl and i dreamt about her i dreamt about her and her husband i already knew what her husband would look like people have premonitions all the time now the four ones this is happiness this person knows they could be happy with you it's also my other twin flame card for those of you who could be dealing with that. And the star. Wow, this is major arcana. This is Aquarius. And this is three of wands in the reverse. I feel we have somebody who's been watching. All right. We also have somebody who may have broken a contract of being in another relationship because they can't seem to move beyond you. They could have been in a whole nother relationship. And with that ego and pride card, this could have been one of those relationships where they were in where it looks good to the public, but in the heart, it didn't exist. It just existed. It looked good on surface level. But this is saying, man, my happiness is with Aquarius right here. My happiness is with Aquarius, and I got to make something right. I got to do something. The sun is Leo, and that's where their happiness is for them with you. What's the self position here? I mean, I don't need to clarify. So many cards that came out. And Major Arcana, by the way, so much Major Arcana here. This is why I don't read in, in timing, because all this Major Arcana, is, it's, unless it's a tower, it don't happen in one day. A tower happens in one day. It's instant. Six of Wands reverse. Four of Pentacles. Someone is sort of maybe not confident to come forward. Maybe because you're not looking their way anymore. Maybe because you have had a new beginning or you start a new beginning and somebody sort of comes in. And it's like, wait for me. You know, what? Someone stuck on the fact that maybe they thought it would work out differently or maybe thought that you would wait forever i don't know tell me about this eight of pentacles two of swords the devil in the upright and the full okay someone's absolutely obsessed here Someone is absolutely obsessed with making some sort of offer to you. And there's a, there's feelings behind this. Someone's either been holding back or saving up. Maybe somebody didn't have enough money to do something sort of like this whole story that I, I told you. I didn't channel it. I mean, I told you that was basically, I didn't know... 
where you know money would come from obviously the little chickies didn't know where the money for their new beginning was going to come from there could be something here because you know we do have the ace of pentacles down here below where is it or was it the other deck we do we i did see the ace of pentacles want to come out it's here yeah someone has wanted to come forward and make some sort of offer here obsessed with it but for whatever reason they haven't been able to they were could have been cooked, hooked up in another situation they're out of it they're looking at this as i think i'm healed enough because i know i'd be happy i know this i you know looking at you as the empress i know i could marry somebody like aquarius i could marry aquarius that could be my person i know that they know that and I feel they've even had a premonition about that I strongly feel they've had a premonition about it or a dream what's for the environment here eight of cups reverse the moon oh my gosh and the hermit you have not talked to this person you have not focused on this person but this person is either going through a dark night of the soul or a whole lot of thoughts here because this is some serious emotions again we have pisces energy and virgo energy and cancer energy tell me about this environment the knight of swords reverse this is somebody about ready to rush in once they once they get somebody completely out of their energy they are working on getting someone out completely i feel like they're already um single or they just recently became single but it's like you know there might be some stuff of the other person's there you know like i don't know not a toothbrush but you know like some clothes or something like everything isn't quite out possibly possibly in other words they need this to be complete they they definitely um want a new beginning with you or if it ain't anything to do with this other person, maybe it's, you know, they're contemplating, am I healed enough from this other person before I go jumping into another situation or before I offer anything to Aquarius? Am I healed enough? And mind you, that situation, it looks like it involved a person, but it, it could have involved also some toxic behavior, all right? What is the, wow, I didn't even get to say anything, but that's all right. Um, hmm bottom of the deck six of pentacles two of cups somebody feels very friendly somebody feels very generous they're very friendly yeah so this is the hopes and the fears the magician the five of pentacles the nine of cups and the seven of cups reverse i don't think I think what they're hoping is that um, they choose you and they want you to choose them and that uh, you don't reject them with a five of pentacles. That's what I feel there. Give me some cards for that hope and fears. That is Gemini Virgo energy. Still, doesn't matter. Eight of Cups reverse again. That's the second time the Eight of Cups in reverse has come out. This person's determined to come back here. And as I say, <laughs> yeah. You know, I, you're looking the other way as well. You're looking the other way. You're not, you're busy doing something, Aquarius, because you're not sitting here looking at spilt milk. And that's when this person seems to come in. You're busy doing something. All right. What's the outcome looking like here for this story? What does the outcome look like for this story? It is a new beginning. It's milk and honey. There's a lot of prosperity to be had here. Hmm. High Priestess. Again, Virgo. Pisces energy. But it's also intuition. But I feel like somebody almost comes in on an impulse. And there's something here, possibly about moving. 
if something's over in another situation and they truly surrendered it or you or something here about surrendering it, a, a situation that was stuck, there's that connection, that two of cups, that knight of swords. And it's someone almost following their intuition here. But I feel it's a premonition. I really feel strongly it's like a premonition or a dream, something. Page of Wands. Somebody, it's almost like somebody is planning strategically to come toward you to tell you something. Give me more information about that. Tell me about that Page of Wands. Tell me about that Page of Wands. Tell you about that page of wands. Wow. It landed over here. It's the four of wands reverse. Oh, and the lover's upright. Wow. They've been thinking about reaching out with you ever since something happened here in the past. This landed on... The single card, the starting over, three of pentacles, reverse. Four of wands, reverse. Either they've moved out of a house, or someone's moved out of a house, or someone's become single, and it's like all they can think about is this. But for some reason, they feel that they have to either strategically plan or sneak toward you or whatever, because maybe they're going to tell you something. Maybe they know something. Maybe this, maybe they, what is that Seven of Swords? Tell me more about that Seven of Swords. Do they know something? What is that Seven of Swords? What is that Seven of Swords? Queen of Cups. Ace of Wands landed on this Four of Wands reverse. That's the new beginning. And the Page of Wands again. I feel like they want to come toward you and tell you about this new beginning, but I feel like they have to plan how they do it. Because maybe they want to surprise you. King of Swords is reverse. This person's holding the coin, or... Or... Or there's somebody in your environment that they don't want to see. So if there's somebody they don't get along with that they know, you know, or around you. Just take that how it resonates. But anyway, this is definitely someone who's coming back. Um, definitely planning. Been planning it for a while. May come in really quick. With a message, real quick, real sharp, um, any kind of way they could. But it's positive news, but for some reason, it's like you don't know it, you don't expect it, and it has something to do with because they don't want someone either around you or in your environment to know. But it's good news, and it's about a new beginning. And it's some sort of vision, possibly premonition or dream or astral because there's a lot here to talk about two people communicating in the astral. So anyway, let's get on with the oracle part, the advice, because I don't think I can spin this anymore. I think I've gotten every message that's come into my brain. If it resonates, you'll know. And if not, you know, just leave it for someone else. But definitely somebody here, strong connection, coming in, giving a message. Um... It has to do with the new beginning. I've got new beginnings several times. I've got dreams several times. So it's there's something going on there with that. And I did pick up on that song about, you know, I had a dream. I don't know what the name of it is. I, think it's, I still believe. I don't know. Oh, Bone Collector. I have never pulled this card. And then Ride the Wave on the bottom. Divine uh, Masculine, Divine Feminine. Number one, it's the first card. It's almost like the magician, but I don't know if it, what it means. I've never pulled this card, guys. I have no clue. First time. We got a rabbit. We got a lot of stuff. Maybe some of you were born near the rabbit, but it doesn't have to mean that. But I'm just, I was drawn to the rabbit anyways. 
When the bone collector appears, she is asking you to look closely at your circumstances to see if you're fully present, reacting out of past conditioning and unconscious expectations. Whenever we're wounded, especially when we're young, it's as if something essential is stolen from us. We adapt and accept a version of the truth that then sets us up to behave a certain way in the future when faced with a situation similar to the original event. So like reliving trauma. What we know about ourselves thus becomes influenced by a perception of limitation. You may feel unworthy or without courage. You may see yourself as flawed or unlovable or expect to be criticized. The bone collector reminds you that the truth is that you are a powerful being with limitless possibilities. She has kept safe what was stolen from you and the wounding. And here is for you to reclaim it now. Here it is for you to reclaim it now. You have everything you believe you lack and the bone collector is your inner resource. Act as if you have what you need and you'll always have it. Anything is possible with awareness. The wounds of the past need not define you. So we do have a lot here about awareness. Um, and we do have, you know, this could even be someone who feels that they played themselves, you know, a sabotage themselves. But for some reason, I feel like they feel like they need to plan how they approach you for some reason. Okay. So anyway, guys, that's the reading that I have for you. I love you guys and namaste.